Hello lovely person. Today I'm going to tell you the story of the time it took me three days to do one load of laundry. This happened when I had just moved into my first apartment. The whole thing happened pretty quickly. I signed a lease and got the keys in the morning, rushed off to work, and then first thing when I got off work that evening, went to the store to get towels and toilet paper, which I didn't have and obviously needed. <laughs> So the plan was to wash the towels I had gotten right away so that I could then take a shower. But I quickly realized that the laundry machines in my apartment building only took quarters and I didn't have a bucket full of quarters just lying around. So I went through my purse digging for any loose change and found enough quarters to do a load of washing but not a load of drying. So my plan was to wash the towels hang them up in my shower to dry, and then hopefully by the morning they would be dry enough that I could take a shower. So I threw the towels in the washer, but when I went back to go get them, I pulled them out and they were sopping wet. My guess is that the spin cycle of that machine was broken because there was so much water in those towels that they weighed about 20 pounds. So I took them back to my apartment and squeezed literally buckets of water out of them into my bathtub and they were still soaking wet. So I hung them up to dry but I was not particularly hopeful that they would be dry by the morning and of course they weren't. So I put on a little bit extra perfume and went to work and as soon as I got off work I made a beeline for the bank before it closed and got two rolls of quarters. I went back to my apartment and after almost 24 hours of hanging in the shower, the towels still were not dry. But that's okay because I had quarters and I was ready to dry them. So I took them into the laundry room and wouldn't you know it, every single machine was being used. Every single washer and every single dryer was being used. In my entire four months of living there, I never once saw that happen again after that night. But the one night that I desperately needed a dryer, they were all full. So I lugged the towels back to my apartment, hung them up in the shower again, and collapsed and watched Netflix defeatedly. Actually, no, I did not do that because at this point, I did not have Wi-Fi in my apartment yet. So I collapsed and read a book defeatedly. <laughs> By that point, I was so exhausted from the stress of moving and trying to run around and get all of the essentials that I needed for my apartment that I did not have the energy to go back and forth to the laundry room that evening to see if the machines were empty yet. So I just waited till morning. By morning, the machines were free. But by this point, it had been about 36 hours since the towels had been washed and they were still wet. They had been just hanging wet for 36 hours. So I figured, mm, I probably need to wash them again by this point. So I did. And this tells you how wet they were. After the second time I washed them, they were less wet than they had been when I had put them in. That's how wet they were. After 36 hours of hanging out drying, they were less wet after I washed them again. So I threw them in the dryer, but I did not have time to wait for them to dry before I had to go to work. So by this point, I really needed a shower. So I dug up a clean t-shirt to dry myself off with which was not fun, but it worked. So I had to go to work before the dryer was finished. But later that morning, I did have someone coming to install Wi-Fi in my apartment. So I was going to be coming back and I could get the towels out then. So late morning comes, the Wi-Fi guy comes, I get Wi-Fi and I go to get my laundry out of the dryer. But guess what? The towels were still wet. By this point, I was angry. I was really angry. I just wanted a dry towel and I couldn't have one. So I walked from the laundry room back to my apartment, grabbed my roll of quarters, walked back to the laundry room 
and started the machine again. And then I had to go back to work for the rest of the day. Come five o'clock, I get home, I go to get my towels out of the dryer, and I bet you can guess what happened next. They are still wet. So I walk back to my apartment, grab my quarters again, walk back to the laundry room again, take the towels out and put them in a different dryer, hoping that maybe that one had just been malfunctioning and that the next one would actually dry my laundry. When that load had finished and it was time to get them out, I brought the quarters with me this time because I did not trust those machines to do what they were supposed to do. And of course, when I got there, still wet. Now by this point, I'm just tired. I'm just resigned. So I put more quarters in and I do them again. I did eventually get them dry that evening. However, all told, it took five separate times through the dryer to get them dry. Altogether, twice through the washer, five times through the dryer, that's seven times through a machine to do one load of laundry. I went through an entire roll of quarters doing this one load of laundry. And you know what? After that, I never had any problems with the machines again. Not a single one. It was just that first time where I desperately needed towels and didn't have any. But hey, it made for a good story. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow, lovely person.